Hello everybody, welcome to The Totally Well Show. I'm your host, Joyce Strong. The Totally Well Show is a place where we get curious, ask questions, and explore everything to do with health, wellness, fitness, personal development, helping people, and all the things it takes to help you live a strong, joyous life. My guest today is Dr. Gary Epler. Welcome, Dr. Epler. Well, it's great to be here. Thank you. May I call you Gary? That's great, Joyce. Oh, great. And uh, Dr. Epler is a professor at Harvard Medical School. He is CEO, author, and speaker, entrepreneur. Um, he's had many lives. Um, you can reach Dr. Epler at GaryEpler, E-P-L-E-R.com, and also on LinkedIn. Um, and I just wanted to hold up, and we'll probably put a picture of this, his um, most recent book, which is Alive with Life, A Medical Doctor's Guide to Live Your Best Life. And I've dealt with a lot of doctors in my day as a nurse and um, running my medical transcription company, and I can say right off the bat, Dr. Epler is not your average MD. <laughs> oh, very nice. Thank you. So I am curious, although we've chatted some, to um, and also to have our viewers know, how did you morph into this kind of a doctor that right. cares about prevention? Sure, sure. <laughs> I uh, was in the critical care business and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, literally saving lives with uh, tubes and medicines, and, uh, and I loved that. Uh, just very mm -hmm. dramatic and, and uh, whistles going off and everything. I loved that. Yeah. But th then I realized, a lot of the patients I was seeing there really shouldn't have been there if they'd had the right kind of lifestyle, yeah. the, right, the right healthy habits. Uh, and so I moved into the wellness, into the health, health business. And, mm -hmm. and, and then from there, I, I, I started studying a, a real old concept 3,400 years ago about this business of being thyself. I said, oh, what, does, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. And then these things of, you should be yourself. Emerson came along and says, you should know your true self. And, and Aristotle said, wisdom begins when you know yourself. I didn't know what this meant. I really didn't. And I don't think anybody else did either. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I, I started studying that. And then I realized along the line, I, I learned who I was. I became myself. And this was years ago. But it was a fantastic feeling because when we're in grade school, you're who your teachers want you to be. You're who your parents want you to be. Yeah. And in college, who your professors, who your friends want you to be, really, in, in college. Yeah. And then you get a job. If you're not who your boss wants you to be, you're fired. Right, right? exactly. And then all along the line, <laughs> who society wants you to be. If you're not, in jail. Well, eventually, you learn who you are. Mm -hmm. and, and it happened to me, and I said, well, this is great, because it's liberating, it's very freedom. How we, old were you when you figured uh, out? I, I, you know, <laughs> I, that's one of the issues. I don't know. That's okay. one of the problems. All right. And, 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 so this and, could happen at any age? Well, this is, this, is, this is one of the problems I entered into, because I, 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 I kept doing this research about who, who, who you are. And, and so then uh, I said, well, uh, so it, it, it gives you freedom. So I said, well, this is the benefit. Yeah. This is the benefit of what, what this business of knowing who you are. And, and from there, I said, well, okay, that's the benefit. It, it, it's freedom. You have nobody to blame. Mm -hmm. You have no criticism. It's just great. You don't have to listen to anybody. Mm -hmm. And I said, but somebody asked me, well, when did it happen? I, well, I don't know. And then somebody said, well, can you tell me how to do that? Yeah. Right? yeah. I don't know. And this was a problem. And so I said, well, that's the end of, end of this, this, this exploration. And then a study, a brain science study came along. Mm -hmm. And it's fantastic, this brain science study. We've known about the names of brains, regions. Parts, yeah. We know the functions of some of them. Mm -hmm. But fMRI, functional MRI, the new MRI study came along. And then we could connect regions of the brain with how you think. Mm -hmm. And let's take a group of people, put them in the fMRI, and say, okay, keep that red light off. If the red light goes on, figure a way out to get it to go off. Mm -hmm. And so they, they could go in the fMRI, and they'd start, oh, geez, I, I, I made a mistake yesterday. I, I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. I really, I'm, 
I, I, I'm going to get fired. I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to, you know, the story. They're building this door. That red light is really flashy. Mm -hmm. So in other words, ooh, I'm not supposed to think about myself, mm -hmm. right? So then you go back, you turn the light off, and they go, oh, oh, uh, how come I didn't get that, that, that promotion? How come they got that promotion? Mm -hmm. uh, feeling sorry for yourself. Mm -hmm. Boom, the red light goes on. So, Turn it down. So again, thinking about yourself, beating yourself up, feeling sorry for yourself, the pity party, and then back in it. And then this is the worst. This is the worst. You start thinking, oh, I gotta get that promotion. Maybe if I figure a way out to hurt that person, mm -hmm. you know, mentally or not, anyhow, figure out a way to get that person out so I get the job. Mm -hmm. This is bad thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The red light goes off blinking. You've got to stop this kind of thinking. So this was the study. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it turned out that that red light meant you're thinking from this cingulate. Mm -hmm. It's a long name, but it's called the posterior cingulate cortex, PCC. Mm -hmm. But for me, I call it cingulate thinking. Yeah, it's yeah. back there in the back part of the brain. It's, you need it. We need it for emergencies, life-threatening emergencies but not any other time. So you say, well, what happened to those people that okay. were able to turn that off? And this is fantastic. So three months later, just find out. Find out those people that could turn that off, stop thinking about from the singular versus those that didn't. Mm -hmm. it, astounding results. They were healthier. They enjoyed life more. They were happier mm -hmm. and more productive. And the amazing thing was, they were better citizens. Mm -hmm. They were more of the community, part of the community, part of the, the world. They were helpful. I, that's amazing. I'm Just curious, from the way people were thinking. I'm curious with this study, was it meant, was it this what they were actually looking at, or was it an incidental finding? Uh, incidental, to some extent, they were trying to match up the regions of the brain with, the th with thinking. Yeah. They had a concept of, the thinking that, well, this is where you think these kind of thoughts. Yeah. And so, but they didn't think the results would be this dramatic. Yeah. Because so, they, so with intention, they measured those things after. Right, yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. right. That's, and it's just amazing. That's pretty forward thinking research. It was, in it's fantastic. Yeah. And it, you couldn't do this during Aristotle's time or no. Emerson or, yeah. or Socrates. You couldn't do this. Yeah. But it's, it's so exciting. And that's what really turned things around. And it's only been the past few months. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is new. Wow. And so I took that concept of I uh, learned who I was yeah. and said, now, how, now, I, now, <laughs> I can tell people how to do it and I can tell when to do it. Yeah. And here's what it is. It's a philosophy okay. that I've developed. Seven words. So know who you are. So know who you are. So there we go. Mm -hmm. Knowing yourself. And the key is is moment by moment. Mm -hmm. That answers, the, that answers the, the problem, the question I had for so many years I've been trying to do mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Moment by moment. Uh, because the old fashioned way, know thyself or know who you are. Well, we're all kinds of people. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're students, we're parents, we're kids, we're all kinds. It doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. But moment by moment, mm -hmm. you can know who you are. Because you're in one particular brain region at any given time. So at any particular moment, I could turn back into five-year-old Joyce. Uh, maybe so. I want to get out of there. Yeah, I'm like scared or abandoned or something bad was happening there, right? I hadn't thought of that one, but maybe you're right. Maybe yeah. you're right. I mean, those pathways are still there, like They're those there. memories. They're there. They're yeah, there. That's so. hippocampus. You're, yeah. you're in your hippocampus. Yeah. And, and, and so the idea then is, is you can only be in one of these regions at a time. Okay. The other ones are exclu out, offline. Yes. Yeah. And so where you're in those, you want to stay in the good ones. Yeah, yeah. And you really want to get out of the bad ones, and you want to get out fast. Yeah, It's yeah. okay to be in the bad ones. These are emotions. Yeah. And uh, there are no bad emotions. We need to have 
all of the emotions. They're healthy. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to neutralize the bad ones. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the key. You got to neutralize them. And I know you have some and, techniques for that. Oh, we do. We do. Yeah. We have the applications. And so this, this is then the, the, this philosophy of know who you are, yeah. moment by moment. And it means to stay in your good regions of the brain and get out of the bad. Mm -hmm. And so now we need to talk about applications. Okay. So how do we apply this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to remind you that when you bang the table, I might miss a word on the recording, so careful. Mm -hmm. I get excited. I like this. I get excited. I won't bang the table. Okay. Thanks. First one. First one. Physical. It, it, it's, um, let's call it uh, posture. Okay. Moment by moment posture. Think of yourself as maybe a string pulling yourself up. And what, yeah. what, what would you look like yeah. moment by moment? Well, you would look, number one, your eyes would be going straight. Your, and your chin would be straight. Yeah. It wouldn't be down, it wouldn't be up. It would be straight, the key word, straight. So eyes, chin straight. Put your head straight, puts it that way. Yeah. What are your shoulders? Well, they're not going to be here. They're not going to be there. They're going to be naturally hanging down. Yeah. So your eyes straight, chin straight, and, and your shoulders are just hanging. And here's the key. The back, and the upper part of the back, you kind of squeeze the muscles between the shoulder blades, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And there you are, perfect. It's chin straight, and, and, and the back is straight, and the, and, the, and the chest, it just, it's a healthy look. Yeah. It's not only, it, not only healthy, it feels good. Yeah. And it feels good. It gives you strength. And, and, and so you're confidence. sending, with that posture, you're sending information to your brain? You are. You are. Yeah. You are. It's funny, sure. in hockey, I'll say, chin up, chest up. You know, chin, here I'm chin hitting my straight. microphone. Yeah. Chin straight's the best word. Yeah. It's well, better. what I want, they tend to look down at yeah, their feet. Yeah, it's better. It's, and yeah. I say, there's a game going on. There you go. <laughs> chin straight. Yeah. And, and, and because chin down, well, if you, you're going to have your chin down sometime because you're tying your shoes or something or looking for the hockey puck, yeah. but you still have to have that chin straight. Yeah, yeah. It's a key word, yeah. chin straight. So that's, that's part of the thing. So moment by moment, posture, it's yeah. fantastic. And, and so let's do, the, the, the other one's nutrition. Yeah. Now, with nutrition, uh, use your happy. five senses. You need to use your five senses. What does that food look like? Mm -hmm. Does it look healthy? <laughs> does it look bad? <laughs> does it look weird? Uh, and what does it feel like? Does it feel all right? What does it sound like? You know, put it up to your left ear, right ear. Yeah, it's kind of strange, but you can do it with your, with your mind. And, and, and it smell like, what about the bright side and the left side? And what about the taste? And the lips, the teeth, the back, the tongue. What's the texture? What's the taste? Mm -hmm. and, and you do all of these things moment by moment. And then the key thing is use your next sense of think about it. Where did that food come from? Mm -hmm. what, was the soil contaminated? Was the air clean? And what about the transportation? What about that the truck? It's 130 degrees in the back of that truck. Mm -hmm. and, 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 then, and then if you're in a restaurant, well, what's going on back there with the cooks and the, and the chefs and so yeah. <laughs> And then the, the last thing you need to think about, is this going to harm me? Yeah. Is this food going to be harmful? Is there too much sugar? Is there added sugar in it? Uh, is there added salt? Uh, is there processed omega-6? All these things, they, they cause inflammation. Yeah. And, and you don't want those. Uh, and, and is this food going to harm me? And, and secondly, uh, is it going to be too much food quantity? Yeah, yeah. The biggest thing is quantity. Oh, I eat too much of it. Yeah. And, and moment by moment, yeah. nutrition, healthy nutrition, phenomenal. Yeah. That's one of the most, the main things of uh, 15 elements of, of healthy habits and so forth. The main thing that can help us. Live to 140, mm -hmm. healthy nutrition. Mm -hmm. So there, there's two. So it's what you're physical. putting in, and I always say this, but it's what you're putting in, but what you're not putting in as well. Oh, oh and yeah. And I love yeah, this, yeah. also the relationship with the food, because um, there's nothing about um, 
taking away. There's oh, nothing. No, no, it, it's no about deprivation. Away. It's no about take away. It's no. about giving yeah. and enjoying right. and really enjoying wrapping it. your senses around it, enjoying which is what it. food's for. That's what it's for, <laughs> and it's wonderful. So, so there you go. So applications of the posture yeah. and the nutrition. Now applications emotions. Yeah. People have said you can't control emotions. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so wrong. Yeah. You can control emotions. You can. You need to control your emotions. Healthy. It's healthy. Yeah. If you don't, you end up like that group that didn't learn to keep out of their cingulate. Yeah. It's not healthy. Control them, and and definitely manage controlling your emotions through this philosophy of moment by moment. And here's here's the first one. You want to stay out of the amygdala anger center. Mm -hmm. That amygdala anger, say a little tiny one, save your life. Mm -hmm. It'll save your life in a life-threatening situation, automobile accident or some catastrophic event. It'll save your life. Mm -hmm. Two times, three times in your entire life. Mm -hmm. You don't need it three times a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's going to happen. Somebody's going to yell at us today or cut us off. It's going to happen. I mean, come on. It's the, and you're going to be angry. Which is which is fine. You don't want to stay angry. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to stay there. And and there's three ways to get out of there. Mm -hmm. Now, so when you're angry, you, you you fire up this adrenaline response. Twenty different reactions. Heart rate goes up. Pulse. The the blood pressure goes up. Mm -hmm. Muscles tighten. And, and 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 this is good. Okay, for a few seconds. But you need to get out of that. And the way to do it, my simplest way. Mm -hmm is to feel the anger. Mm -hmm. Just feel it, all right? Somebody cut me off, all right? I went through, oh, it happened to me a couple of days ago, pothole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the car shook, it just, I mean, it was, uh, come is on. Is that what you did at the moment, like when you leaned and into was, the anger, you and gritted, I was And I was there. Yeah. <laughs> and I was there, I had to, and, 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 and is what you need to do is physically know how you respond to anger. Yeah. And I respond and turn something like, yeah, like this, and my eyes narrow. Yeah. So I was, oh, I mean, this thing, it, uh, I practically destroyed the car. Plus, I felt like my teeth were down. <laughs> I said, okay, feel it. Just feel it. Just feel that anger. Feel it. My eyes narrow. Feel it. And I was just driving along. Wasn't in danger. Just feel it. Feel it. Yeah. Feel it. And then it dissipated, away. yeah. Eight to ten seconds. Yeah. And, and the science is beautiful because the science, this is adrenaline response, mm -hmm. upbeat, really positive, not positive, upbeat, but it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an action response. Alert. Alert, yeah. alert yeah. response. And at the same time, a signal goes out for the calming response mm -hmm. called the parasympathetic system. It's built into us. And it waits. Is this a life-threatening situation mm -hmm. or not? Ah, oh, this is a pothole, or this is somebody. So you, and so then it takes effect, a calming effect, 100% of the time. So when you f had this feeling, you didn't really like do anything with it. It was just the feeling. You didn't like start to look for action. Oh, no, 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 no yeah. action. No other thoughts. It was just feeling. No other thoughts, yeah. only feeling. That's the whole key, otherwise it doesn't work. No thoughts. You don't want to think about that guy that cut you well, off then you in go the upstairs story. to the singular. Because then you, no, no, <laughs> you, you, you stay in the anger center. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. you're doing it wrong. Well, that guy cut me off because so is a guy. Yeah. Cut me off. Yeah. I'll show him. <laughs> you know, like this. Yeah. And it's insane. It's nuts. Wow. Yeah. And, and that's what happens if you think. So that's think, road rage. That's, that's road yeah. rage. And that's what you think, the second thought or the third thought. Don't think anything. Feeling. Yeah. No thoughts. Yeah. No thoughts of oh, cutting off that's or key. or all the just the feeling, the feeling because that's that it's our system. It, our, our, the, and there's the, a natural neutralization. And there's a natural neutralizing thing. It's just amazing. Yeah. If we didn't have that, we wouldn't be here. No. Think about it. I mean, no. You know, no. Yeah. <laughs> anger three times a day, and you stay only. We wouldn't last three or four hours. But uh, anyhow, it's fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. there you go. So that's the, one method. The second method is, 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 is a good one because it's more of chronic anger. Mm -hmm. Like in the country almost, there's a lot of people that are angry. I don't know why they're angry, but they're angry. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that is, it's an old physics reaction. It's old physics. 
of for every action there is an opposite and equal reaction. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, stress is good for us. It's really good for us. It's mm -hmm. good for our brains. It's good for our immune system. But you have to have the recovery, mm -hmm. the same amount mm -hmm. to neutralize it. Okay. So uh, for what is anger? Anger is defined as somebody has taken something from you. Mm -hmm. And usually in a vicious way. Mm -hmm. Fired or something like that, or taking your pride, yeah. something taken. Yeah, or we think we're thinking. So that. you're angry. Yeah. Something's taken. So what's the opposite mm -hmm. to give? Yeah. There you go. Just give. Mm -hmm. Give your time. Give your energy. Give your help. Mm -hmm. And to really do it right, because if you only give and you expect to get money back, you're back into the anger center. Or yeah. you think of it. You can't be expecting. You don't expect anything in return. Yeah, outcome. And it, no thank yous, no money, yeah. just give. Yeah. You are so out of that anger center, you can't be in that anger center. It's yeah. impossible. And you're up in your creative center. Yeah. You're up in your prefrontal decision making center. Uh, if you do it right, you're even in the accumbens pleasure center. Yeah, yeah. And as I told you the story, my son and I uh, went down to Habitat. Mm -hmm. Pounding nails. Yeah. And I loved it. Yeah. I had just pounding nails and he was pounding nails. It was, just, it was just great being with my son. It was just phenomenal. Yeah. I was in the accumbens. I mean, I enjoyed that. I mean, I wasn't in it. I certainly wasn't on any anchors. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. The third way is maybe just think about it. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> I mean, my man, Migdo, let's get me out of here. I haven't tried that one yet. It's new. <laughs> and you talk too about gratitude. Gratitude comes up yeah. in a minute. Okay. That's the first application for emotions. Okay. Second one is the big one. That's our friend, the singular yeah. <laughs> that yeah. we know. That we now know. This is the big one. And in America, it is so. I call it singular thinking. Yeah. It's so prevalent now. Mm -hmm. It's the, and, and it's not healthy. It's not healthy for the person. It's definitely okay. not healthy. It, it, it causes stress. It, it's going to cause disease, causes inflammation, shorten lifespan. All of that stress, it does that. Singular thinking. And do people live and, in singular thinking and, like they... Well, you'll find out. You'll find out <laughs> pretty quickly. They do, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, so singular thinking. And, and here's what happens in singular thinking uh, and how we can fix it. The first one, I already mentioned it is the uh, self-destructive types of thoughts. Mm -hmm. Oh, I made a mistake, mm -hmm. and oh, I'm a failure, and all oh, this whining, and you're going on about yourself. Well, what, what are you, you're, you're, you're just complaining about yourself. You're just destroying yourself. What's the opposite mm -hmm. is kind to yourself, right? Compassion. Mm -hmm. And this is, yeah. and, and self-compassion. Yeah, I, geez, I screwed up. It might be the worst thing I've ever done, but you know, hey, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. I mm -hmm. won't do that again. I'll do something. The minute you start thinking that way, you're in your prefrontal cortex, mm -hmm. right? decision making, in your creative center, not in that singular. Got it. Yeah. And so I, so I do. I often ask people when they come in to, oh, I had a terrible week, oh, and I'm like, right, right, what? right. What? 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 Well, right, you there know, you go. <laughs> that I gets, shift it right away. That, well, that, well, there well. you go. You go from your singular to somewhere else. Yeah, and yeah. then I see them come in like this, and That's all right. of a sudden they're sitting That's up, right. and they're That's looking, right. and smiling. That's it. And that it, yeah. perfect example. Perfect. Yeah. So that's one of them. The second one is the feeling sorry for yourself. Yeah. The pity party. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I... I just, uh, I don't know, nobody's treating me right. I, 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 everything's uh, happening they, to me. Everything's <laughs> happening to me. You know? and it doesn't happen to them. Yeah. Uh, just to me, I mean, this pity party, that it's just a waste of time. It's unhealthy, yeah. very unhealthy. And a way to get out, be kind to yourself. Right? Yeah. Be kind to yourself. Self-compassion. Yeah. Be grateful. That's what you're grateful for. I think and sometimes... Then, it's not happening to me, it's happening for me. This is a lesson. Oh, there you go. I mean, that works too. Yeah. It gets you out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so those are two kinds of, of thinking. Now the big one, the big one. This is the one that is so pervasive in America right now. Yeah. 
the self-importance, yeah. the privilege center, the thinking, I'm special. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you know really, who I am? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm special. Whether it, 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 on, a, on a religious basis, yeah. political party basis, yeah. a, a, a biologic basis, mm -hmm. I'm special. I'm in this group or whatever mm -hmm. it is. And, and here's what happens when you're in this, you think this way, I call it thinking the thinking, is that if you're not in that special group, that means you're bad. Mm. And, you're, and if you're not in that group, you say, why am I bad? I didn't do anything. But you're bad because you're not in this group, whatever it is. <laughs> and if you're in that group, yeah. you don't want to associate yourself with bad people. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's a mess. It's a catastrophe. I call it sinking and thinking. Yeah. It's self importance. I'm special group. See, you don't, you've got to get out of there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and we're we over time. Yeah, I, we have about a minute just uh, to perfect. wrap up that this'll thought. This will do it. This will okay. do, do it. How do we get out of there? Because this is so key. You've you got to get out of there. It, it, it doesn't help anybody. It doesn't help your friends, your family. It certainly doesn't help the community. No. The way to get out, it's a taking, thinking. You're taking things from yeah. people. You're taking money, you're taking time, taking in, taking their pride, yeah. their self-worth, yeah. their, their integrity. You're criticizing them, blaming them, mm -hmm. right? That's taking integrity from them. Mm -hmm. You're taking, take, take, take. What do you do? What's the opposite? Give. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's, it. That's the answer. Give, give yeah. your time, give your energy, give your help. Nothing in return. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, this is a great place to take a break. Yes. Um, and you'll stick around for another, sure. um, another sure. show episode. Very good. Okay. Very good. Very nice.